Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big Pork here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, David Hay, you've been annoying me lately. You've been annoying me David, can't have that. I'm disappointed with David Hay and the main reason is a few years ago, a couple of years ago, do you remember David A. War? I can explain it. He was forcing the issue for Joe Joyce against Derek Chisora. Forcing the issue. Every interview he did, Joe Joyce against Del Boy, that's the fight that they want. The fans want it. Fought fans, he kept saying. Fought fans. Okay. Well... Joe Joyce left David A and David A's now got Chisora not a peep not a peep Chisora is as quiet as a mouse he's done a John Fury and he's gone quiet now so let's back up a little bit let's just back up just a little bit just a little bit right David A Audley Harrison Value F, John Ruiz, Vladimir, and the two Bellew fights. Audley Harrison fight was a stinker. Pay per view. Value F, pay per view, circus act. John Ruiz, what were he? How old was John Ruiz? About 38 year old. Pay per view. Vladimir, Togate, stinker. Oh God, we're not even going to go there for the the million pound of fight he got for the uh, Mark DeMori and Arnold the Cobra or the Worm. The Worm, he's a Worm, as Tony Bell used to say, to Gijori or whatever they were called. They were a million pound a piece, them fights. They weren't pay-per-view, but shocking. But we'll go back to the Sky stuff, because David Day's a Sky man, isn't he? And then we've got the two Bellew stinkers where he, where he was running about saying stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. All the Instagram videos, you saw them all, didn't you? You saw them all. Six pay-per-views just on Sky alone. Not to mention all, all the, uh, the other uh, fights where he's been top at Bill getting mega money. Couldn't sell a ticket when Dennis and Maloney had him. Couldn't sell a ticket. And he's bitching about being put in leisure centres. Never sold a ticket. But back up a little bit. He messed Sky about with the two Tyson Fury fights, didn't he? He messed Sky about with them, right? Messed Sky about big company like Sky. And this, this, this is how I look at it, right? This is how I look at it. He said he'd never fight again. I saw him at weighing for Frotch Groves in Manchester. He was like that, he was on edge. He thought he was going to get jumped. The Furies were fuming. Fuming. Tyson spent fortunes. Fortunes. On them camps. Flying over to Holland on private planes and all sorts. Now, David Day's there with arm in whatever. Been to Germany or this doctor. He's never going to fight again. What happens? A few years later, what it fought? 2012 his last fight with Chisora. 2016 he comes back, he has two fights with Mogs. Well, not Mogs, the fighters, aren't they? But two bums. His bums harsh. Well, at side of David Day, they were bums. He had two fights. Then he's gone in with Bellew and got pay per view. Had it off, come out of nowhere. In the last 10 years, he's had six fights, David Day. Um, his careers could do better if tried, didn't it? Really, he's just tried to jump. He's tried to walk before he can run. So how does that make him a, a, a massive, experienced guy? They wanted to fight Carl Thompson. Dennis said no, don't fight Carl Thompson. Him and Adam both insisted. So Dennis says, well, let me just point out to you that if you get beat, I told you not to take the fight. Carl Thompson bashed him up, knocked him out. He tried to pinch an IBO world title, didn't he? You've got to go through the levels. 
David Hayes thought he were better than what he were. He were good, very good, but he didn't go through the levels, did he? He didn't go through the levels, and is he going to do that with his fighters now? Because he's just putting Chisora in money fights now, but Chisora, he's on his way down, and he's looking for his 10th loss, Chisora. It's... Uh, looking for his 10th loss, they're putting him in with Usyk, who's there to protect the Usyk's there in it to stay away from Joshua, I mean Usyk the WBSS winner, World Boxing Super Series winner, Olympic gold medalist, decorated amateur, world class pound for pounder, undefeated it's because we had the earn, who was he had? Chaz Witherspoon God knows how many losses he's had, a load, several and now he's in which is already, he's looking for his 10th loss, so well, it's another Ortez job, isn't it? But the point I want to make is, David A, is he an experienced boxing guy? Or is he just out for that? Has he got an elite win on his record? No. What's it, what will David A be remembered for? It'll be Togate, won't it? He's only had 32 fights. Togate, party boy, playboy. Good promoter, though, isn't he? He can talk, can't he? He can talk. Well, I think he would be co-accused. Can you imagine him as your coward kid was going to Crown Court? He can talk, can't he? Like Eddie Hearn. They know how to play the game, but I see him and Chisora falling out eventually. I see Chisora losing against Usek. And I see him going across to Frank Warren then and throwing Chisora under the bus against Joyce and Dubois. That's what I see, because there'll be nobody left for him to fight at... Uh, at Sky World, they might try and bring him back against Dave Allen or somebody like that, which is a good fight for Dave against Chisora, but Chisora's not pay per view fighter, isn't he? I mean, what is pay per view now? What is pay per view when you've got a Ukrainian and a guy with nine losses going on pay per view? Where, would it, where are we heading with this pay per view? What is the narrative for pay per view? Are Sky going to come out and tell us? Del Boy on pay per view again. I mean, when when's it going to end? So, but I see him. Um, I see him getting beat against Usyk, and then I see Davy Day drumming up uh, business for White Free, the trilogy, uh, once and for all, all for one, all that. That's what I see, and then probably going and cashing him in against, like I've just said, Joyce and. Uh, Dubois and then probably going to MMA with him to Dana White. That's how I see it. David Day's become a pimp, a pimp. I mean, I'll see, I'll see him. I'll tell him. It's as simple as that. A pimp. So David, you're a pimp. So could have been Ali, but like I said, look at the pay-per-views that David Day's had on Sky. Audley Harrison. Pff, remember that? Do you remember that? That got pay-per-view shut down, didn't it, for a few years? Value F, God. Value F Ruiz, Audley Harrison. Vladimir, oh, we were going to do all sorts against Vladimir, chasing him about with t shirts with him and his brother's heads ripped off. What what happened? And then the masking tape job was held together by a masking tape against Bellew. Shocking. Totally shocking, but it is what it is. We've got to tell it straight, haven't we? We've got to pull these people up on the. We've got to pull them up on it, haven't we? Oh, That's my favourite one. Peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Shout out to Robin Reed, multivitamins. Thank you very much, Robin. Some training now, I think. Man, I end up looking like Robin Reed if I take these every day. Don't have nightmares. <laughs>